Okay then, so at the minute what we're doing is cycling through this list of data, these three quote objects, and we're outputting the text property and the author property both inside this single text widget. And it looks like this over here, a bit cruddy, right? I'd like this to look a little bit better. So instead of just having a text widget right here that outputs both of these properties, it would be nice to output some kind of better template. Now we're gonna be using cards to do this. And a card looks something like this, where we have this little border around it and it kind of brings it away from the page a little bit with this box shadow. So that's what we're gonna be doing, something similar to that. And the template is gonna be a little bit longer than this. So what we're gonna to do to create this card template for each quote, I'm gonna make a new function up here somewhere in a minute. And that function is gonna return that card template if you like. Now we're going to approach this differently later on and find a better way to generate these card widgets but for now this will do because I don't want to overwhelm you with too much at one time okay. So first of all let's go ahead and create this function that's going to return some kind of quote template using the card widget. So what I'll do is just below this list is I'm going to create a new function and this function has a return type which is going to be a widget. So remember we say the return type first of all then the function name which is going to be quote template and then we're going to take in an individual quote. So basically we're going to call this function for each quote as we map through this list and we're going to pass that quote into the function and we're going to return a widget tree based on that quote so we can output the data from that quote inside the template. So then we need to return right here and what we're going to do is return a card widget. We're going to create a card. So inside this card the first thing I'm going to do is give it some margin. Now we can apply a margin property to cards which is good and then I'm going to say edge insets and this is going to use from L to RB. So we're going to have a different margin in each different direction. Now it's going to be 16 on the left and then it's going to be 16 at the top. It's going to be 16 to the right and then it's just going to be zero at the bottom. So we have our margin now and the next thing we need to do inside a card is a child property. Now what's going to go inside this card? Well, we're going to have two different things inside this card, aren't we? We're going to have the actual quote itself, the text, and also we're going to have the author. So I want to add two different widgets on top of each other inside this card. Now to do that, we need to do a column, right? Because we've got two widgets stacked one on top of the other. So let's create that column first of all. And inside this column, I'm going to say children. And that is a list of widgets. Now the first thing I'm going to do is a text widget for the quote text. So let's do that. And inside here, I'm just going to say quote dot text. Now the reason I don't need the dollar sign and the curly braces here is because I'm not actually outputting this in a string. I'm just telling the text widget to use this string right here directly. You know, if it was inside quotes like this, then I would need to output it inside the variable wrapper like this. But we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're just outputting it directly outside of the quotes. So now we can just say, look, use this string for the text. Okay. All right then. So next up, we need a style property and that is going to be a text style widget. Oops. Let's spell this correctly. Style is going to be text style like so. And the different properties I'd like to control are the font size and the color. So let's do the font size. First of all, we'll set that to 18 pixels. And then the color is going to be colors.gray. And then we'll use a shade of 600, which is quite dark, a lot darker than this background. Okay, so that's our first text widget done. Now after that, what I'm going to do is a sized box widget. Remember, we can use these to give us a little bit of space between two widgets by setting a specified height. So I'm going to say sized box and then inside here I'll say the height is going to be about six pixels. So not too much, just a little bit. Okay. Now the next widget we're going to do is another text widget in this column and this time the text is going to be for the author. So this time I'll say quote dot author for the text and then we also want a style property 
and this is going to be a text style widget so in here I want to do the same thing I want to control the font size and also the color so font size first of all is going to be 14 pixels a little bit smaller for the author and then the color is going to be colors dot gray and this is going to be 800 so a little bit darker than the actual text so what I'm going to do now is actually use this function down here inside this template inside this widget tree instead of this function right here so I can delete this thing in here and instead what I'm going to do is call up the quote template function and pass in this quote right here so I'll say quote like so and this is going to do exactly the same thing for each item in the list we're going to map through that cycle through it we're going to fire a function for each one and in that function we take the individual quote then we call this function quote template and pass in that quote that returns to us a template this widget tree right here with the card and that is going to get output right here inside this column inside this list because we turn it to a list in the end so if i save this now we should see these in cards instead which we do awesome and that's starting to look a bit better but i want to do a couple of things to make it look even better the first thing i'd like to do is wrap this in a bit of padding because at the minute the card doesn't really have any padding inside it so let me go to the action menu and go to add padding and then we'll just change this to about 12 pixels and save that and now we can see a bit more room i also want these things to stretch the whole width over here so what i'm going to do is use the cross axis alignment because remember in a column the main axis goes down the cross axis along i'm going to use the cross axis alignment property to set the alignment to be stretch and that's going to make these things stretch all the way across so inside the column widget we're going to say cross axis alignment twice and it's going to be the stretch property so if i save this now hopefully this looks a bit better awesome so there we go my friends that's how we can create a function now that is returning a widget or a widget tree and we're using that function right here to generate a template for each item in the list that we map through now the way that we've done this is not the most efficient or best way to generate these card widgets and templates and output them we can do this a better way by extracting this widget up here this card widget or this widget tree into its own stateless widget class and then reuse that widget whenever we need it i didn't want to do that at first because i didn't want to overwhelm you i wanted to do this one piece at a time but we will look at how to do that in the next lesson